hey what is going on guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create this google logo in inkscape so i have already extracted the colors that i will be using to recreate this logo i'm going to just copy them and uh, i'll create a new document based in colors let's zoom in a bit uh, select the circles and ellipses tool or control and shift on your keyboard to create a perfect circle and uh, the color that I'll be using for this shape is the blue one so you can just choose the color picker tool to pick the colors or you can see the hexadecimal value right here so yeah now with the select tool I'm gonna align this shape but first I'm gonna set the width and height of this shape to 600 and I'm gonna align this page align, align this shape to this page so in the align and distribute panel set the relative to to page and I click on center on vertical axis and click on center on horizontal axis now uh, right click on the shape and click on duplicate change the color hold control and shift on your keyboard and uh, drag one of these corners like this now select both these shapes <coughs> go to path and uh, click on exclusion now you'll have you will not have anything in the middle of the shape and i'm going to create a guide but first make sure you have snap bounding boxes on you have snap cusp nodes on you have snap other points on and you also make sure that you have snap centers of objects on now drag a guide from the left hand side of your canvas and uh, just leave your mouse key right there now from the top side of the canvas just click and drag you know your mouse click and uh, just release your mouse click right there grab the rectangles and squares tool just zoom in and uh, create a rectangle like this and uh, we, will, we will extend this select the select tool and just move this arrow towards the right while this rectangle shape is still selected hold shift key on your keyboard and select and click on this circle shape and in the align and distribute panel click on center on horizontal axis click away to deselect click on this rectangle shape and right click on it and click on duplicate while the rectangle shape is still selected select the circle shape as well by holding the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on this shape go to path division and uh, the other shape that we created the duplicate just click on this arrow and drag it towards the left now the color should be similar to this one Now you will notice this white lines appearing in this graphic so just with the select tool select all these three shapes go to path and union now with the select tool click on the shape twice to get the rotation handles and uh, hold control on the keyboard and just drag your shape like this Now with the Bezier curves and straight lines tool, 
create a shape like this and I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard to create a straight line and close the path like that in the fill and stroke tab fill should be set to flat color and in the stroke paint tab stroke should be set to none again with the select tool select both these shapes go to path division and I'll have this piece right here just delete that and uh, click twice on this graphic and uh, hold control on your keyboard to bring it into its original position now double click on this guide change the angle to 37 and double click on the other guide change the angle to 142 now just make sure that this guide is doesn't touch this shape this border of this shape just move it like this not much like that and similarly with the other guide just make sure there's a gap between the shape and this guide now these gaps should be similar now once you're satisfied with that uh, you can select the bezier curls and straight lines tool and create a shape like this now we have already made these snapping turn the snappings on so it will be easy to create sh a shape and uh, let's create a shape like that go to fill and stroke tab stroke paint set it to none and in the fill tab set it to flat color now grab the select tool and select both the shapes go to path division select this shape and uh, with the color picker tool I'm gonna choose this red color right here again with the bezier tool I'm gonna create another shape like this fill set it to flat color stroke paint change it to none with the select tool again select the shape and the blue shape that is left go to path division click on the shape with the color picker tool choose this yellow color again with the bezier tool I'm going to create another shape stroke paint tab set it to no paint fill set it to flat color with the select tool select this shape and the blue shape that is left go to path go to division select this shape and uh, with the color picker tool i'm gonna change it to uh, this green color and uh, you can go to view and uncheck guides and that's it that's how you create the google logo in inkscape and thanks for watching this tutorial guys hope you learned something new if this was helpful please leave a like and uh, i'll see you in the next one